Sanchez, and today I'm here with Sway Brooks. Hi guys, thank you for having me. Oh gosh, oh my god, this is such a treat. We have been doing art together for a long time. Actually, we started, she started taking art for me at four years old, and now you are 17? Yes. 17. The big one, seven. And she is a huge YouTube vlogger. Yes. yes. And she's also an inspiration to me to get this YouTube channel going Aww. and share what I've been doing for a couple of decades with you at home. So today what we're going to be making is an abstract painting. This is inspired by the style of the German artist Gerhard Richter. And it's a lot of fun to make. I it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And so, so fun. we are going to tell you step by step how to make this so you can make one of your own. Let's get started. So now we're going to tell you the supplies you're going to need to do this painting project. First of all, we're going to need paintbrushes. Of course. And we're going to need acrylic paints with kids, younger kids in suede. I oh, usually use favorite. the craft paints because then you can afford to buy a lot of colors for the same price as having like three colors in the tubes. Right. Then the other thing that you're going to need is a paper plate, a jar of water, some paper towels, and you're going to need some cardboard scraps. You're going to need some big ones, just cut up some boxes you have, or some small ones. And this is the special item you're going to need to get. This is modeling paste. It's like a thick, pasty thing that you can add acrylic paint to, and a plastic knife or something to take it out of this jar. And then you're set. Yeah. Okay, so now pick your favorite colors. So what do you think you want to do? I don't know if I want to do like cool tones or like some pink. I don't know, are you going to put it somewhere specific like in your apartment or something? That's where what I'm saying, like maybe I have something. Right, it'll match, I, well my room's all like white, like literally everything is white, so I'm thinking, what if I do like a pop of color? Yeah, do like bright pinks. Okay, go for and bright like purples. Pink. And then just- We do one at a time? Uh, no, you're gonna cover the whole surface with a couple of different colors. Okay, fun. So, so I'm, I'm gonna bright. do, okay, I'm gonna do bright green and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some blues and greens. Oh, okay, you're just you're just going at it. Go okay. Okay, then I here, see you. take a big brush. I'll take a big brush. Here I go. And I'm just gonna paint in some green. This is exciting. This Project, I'm telling you, any age can do this. I, you can do this. <laughs> no, this is so You fun. can do this with a four-year-old, right? Or you can do it with an adult. And, Almost and adult. Can be you can do this. You know, uh, a senior citizen can do this. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's not just art classes for kids. It's for everyone today. So I'm just adding some green. Then I'm gonna pick a new color because I need some color in the world. Okay, so we're gonna do a little pink action. I'm gonna add some blue. We're gonna do some purple. This is, what shade is this? What are they called? Fuchsia. Look, I'll make it through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh. Paint, paint, paint. Is that, oh my gosh, see, how does yours just already look? Ten times up. No, I'm just rubbing it together. There we it's go. Ooh. If you use these craft paints, they, they dry really quick. So, you know, just, just get some color on your canvas pen. Nice. Okay, so once we do this, we're gonna let it dry, or we can blow dry it. And the other way that you can make it dry is this. We have these paper towels, and you can smear your paint. Oh, that's exciting. That's what I want to do. So take your paper towel, crumple it up, and start rubbing your paint because that's going to get it to dry quicker, plus it's going to give it a full cool effect. Okay, so actually, I think we're about ready. So it's looking like this so far. Look at this one. Yeah. So exciting. Yours is so kind of like amber rose. Yeah, we're figuring it out. The next step in our abstract painting is going to be adding some modeling paste and scraping it across. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plastic knife and we're going to scoop some modeling scoop. paste onto our favorite plate. So I add a little color to it. Oh, I'm gonna do yellow. And then I'm going to stir it up. Stir it up. So I'm just going to mix it up and it gets lighter than the color paint you put in it. You don't put, you don't need right. to put paint. Okay, so I'm gonna do yellow, a little nice squirt. And then, while you're doing that, I'll start doing it. So then you just kind of paint the whole thing 
loosely with some of the stuff. This is exciting. It's like you just, you know, you just go up. Drop it on the goop. Right. There's, there's no still life. There's no landscape. There's no making it look like it has to look real. Right. So just dab just it on. Dabbing it on. So how it works. And then you can get it all the way across, or you can get it halfway across. Whichever you do, let it sit there for a minute. See, you're already an expert. Look at me. Are you so impressed? <laughs> Bam. So you can use either the foam core scrap or the cardboard, because you might not have any access to the foam core. So I'll show you with the cardboard what we'll do. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it at the end and I'm going to, gosh, I can even bump this against my clothes. Hopefully, I have clothes on that I don't care if they get paint on. And then I just scrape it across. Oh my God! But since it's corrugated cardboard, it gets lines in it. Now notice how it got these little dots. That's because I kind of angled it more. You can do it twice if you want, or you can just leave it. You can also take all of this paint that got on here scrape it off and put it back on somewhere. Here I go, do scraping. There you go. Don't push too hard, push light and then see if you like it because you can always go back and push right. it. So then I can take a small piece and just go like this and I make it really flat and it gets more texture. Bam. Just want to get everything cleared. Now try to lean it down a little more and see if it makes a difference. Ooh. You get cooler texture. Oh, so true. So, Sway's so using the foam core so it didn't get these lines in it like cardboard oh. would. And that's pretty Fun. much the difference. Oh, look! So let's just get something new. Exciting! In the Surprise. base! Cool, huh? And then I'm gonna take the smaller one. Yeah, and you can even, like I said, scrape that out and put it somewhere new and have a new area. So it's whatever you wanna do with it. But now we're gonna add one more layer of one more color. Right. So I, it doesn't matter, I just use the same plate. But I'm going to get some more scoop of this. But this time we'll give ourselves more. So I'll just soak this in the water jar so it doesn't get hard as a rock. Here I go. And it's your top layer. And you look how the other direction is looking. I am so impressed. It's a masterpiece. So it's an abstract masterpiece. masterpiece. Do you know what this would cost if it was by the real artist? And how much? Millions. Really? The paintings are like, there's no painting by this artist. Bastard. It's really? Less than a million dollars. But this is art. Right. Our interpretation. This is so, our DIY version. You can even use the knife to spread. That's right. Get I should that just do spread. Okay, so I'm going to add. I can't wait to see. This looks like frosting. I can literally eat this right Yeah, now. this looks like the frosting painting. Like, ooh, snack time. <laughs> oh my god, your snack times used to be snack so bad. Time. You remember that? You know, Kim, Kim back. So kids still have the way, snack time at our camp. If you guys don't know, me and Kim go way back. Way back. Um, before I was born. Yes. Literally. Before even before your brothers and any your brother and your sister were born. Before I knew my, mom. Yeah, exactly. So, can you still have, well, she still does have an art camp for kids every single year in the summertime. And I used to go to the art camp every single year with my siblings. Art camp. And one year she held it at the house, right? Didn't you hold it? Yeah, I've had it here. I actually you do know, have it in the home studio a couple weeks each summer. Yes, you had it at the studio. Yeah. You had it's it. It's fun to have it at home. It's so much fun. And so she used to have it here. I mean, we come what like twice a week. Oh no, five days a week. week. Monday through Friday. You're so right. It was every day. Yeah, it was every day for a week. Oh my goodness. So we used to come here, and she used to make have like snack time. For all the kids, and she just and sometimes like, it was stuff that parents would let me like cheese it. Like, so good though. and chips would have like they have chips oil. You would have the cookie crisp cereal. <laughs> oh, we don't do that. Oh my gosh, that was the best. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you what happened in the last ten years. Parents are all about the organic. Oh, and so and me. And me. So, so we, we had to like. I'm like, you guys do like cheese it. For goodness sake. So now I'm gonna try a new a new direction. Okay. A new direction, one direction. It's like a boy band, it's a new direction. <laughs> so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go sideways. I'm gonna pull this across, see how I did that? That's exciting. So I'm gonna pull this paint off and put it in some spots that didn't get any paint. 
So we go to colors. Here we go. So there we go. Looking good. Okay. Nice. Okay, can we put that like a swirl right now? I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go this way this time. You're just such artists. This one, oh, I've gotta go on like that. Oh, Ooh, we're getting crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna take this edge and I'm just gonna put some over here so it goes off. So you just get experimental with it. You know, there's no right and wrong. We're just giving you the materials and showing you a few steps, but you can express yourself and do this however you want. If you're one of the kind of artists that doesn't like a lot of rules, this is your kind of thing. Look how good. <laughs> so far, it's looking like this. Look at you, you're going into like this pivoting movement. <laughs> it's like she's got choreography to her, right. you know, scraping. It's a full routine. Five, six, six, seven, eight. This is like a foolproof art project. It, and also, it's in the eye of the beholder. Right. Yeah. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So the more you get like kind of your little scoochy right. thing flat, the more texture you get. So if you want to get a lot of texture, you just kind of go like, like that. Ooh. So take a look at it from far away because sometimes you have to look back and say, you it's know, is it time right. to stop or not? Right. I think that'll look good in your all white place. Me too. I want to see more color, I think. Okay, so you want to add some color. You know what else so, you can do to add color? Watch. You, just have to, have to you can just actually put a little, you can add a few spots of color, but just paint like dribble some. So then I'm going to take my squeegee. It won't have texture, but it'll add color. See, like that, you see? I want to be able to see the underneath. Oh, oh well, then, let me show you what the artist does. Ooh, he, I saw this on a video. You can just take it and you can just scratch through it. See, yeah, that's smart. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed making this abstract painting with me today. And if you made one and took a photo, post it on Instagram, tag it with our classes for kids, and then I want to see it too. Tag me. Yeah, I want to see it. And tag it. And what's your tag? My Instagram is Sway Drug. Thank you again so much for having me. I had so much oh fun. Oh my gosh, this is so a we haven't made art in years. I so, know. So um, it's been fun and I will hope to see you soon. Please subscribe, like, and click that bell up above to get more cool videos and keep making, making cool art.